Right. In the last two videos, we learned how we c we learned how we can run Sparkle queries against our datasets. We used the Arc query processor and we used Apache Jena Forsake. I believe Gen they actually the Jena Forsake server is actually based on the Arc query processor, quite Sparkle processor. But Jena Forsake server, as we said before, it's actually a GUI interface. So for some people, that might be a lot easier. Now. Uh, that is fun. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, we just queried some files that we have in, uh, you know, some local files that we have on our own disks, on our local. Di I'm sorry, on, on disks rather than desks. Yeah. <laughs> so we have we had a qu uh, queries about some files which are you know uh, saved in our local disks. But the real fun is actually is when we query publicly available uh, datasets, and usually this is the common practice. Usually. Uh, you make your data, or you, you, you transform or convert your data into RDF format, your uh, normal tables or any other data format, you convert it into RDF format, into triples, and then you make it available online so people can query it, can, you know, make use, use of it, and, you know, as you know, that increases collaboration, increases, uh, you know, data integration and data exchange and decreases having to you know redo the same work again by uh, some other people i.e. you know having to reinvent the wheel as some people say now um, usually people make the triples or triple sets available using what is called or what is named a sparkle endpoint which is really just a web server a web service it's just web web service that accepts sparkle uh, queries and and process them and pr uh, uh, return back results. Now the uh, t you know to the to the limit of my knowledge, and I believe that this is actually pretty much true at, at least currently, the largest or the most popular Sparkle endpoint is DBpedia's uh, uh, Sparkle endpoint. Yes, and it's available here. You just go dbpedia.org slash snorkel or sl Slash even Sparkle if you want. I think I believe SnorkQL actually you makes use of SparkQL. Yes. We just open that, and they're using uh, the virtual server, which is a very powerful server. And you can just, you know, write your query there and execute it and run it. So from the from the Snorkel, uh, we can run a simple query against the DBP DBpedia's uh, triple. Set their own data set. Now it's a huge data set. It's very large, and we, uh, if we run it and uh, ask for all the triples there, it'll take forever, maybe, and it just take too much space and uh, too much time. But what we're going to do is we say select star, where, and then open brackets. This is where we put our conditions, and they say question mark A, question mark B, question mark C. We just want to have a look at the triples there, without you know paying much attention to what the content is and I think like we just we just have a look at the, the triples. Yeah, remember question marks in front of uh, variable names, and we'll end it with a dot as we uh, agreed before. Now notice this uh, statement here: limit 20. We just w limit. We'll just limit the num the number of, of of results to 20. Otherwise, as we said before, it'll be a large uh, result set. If we run that, we'll just say go. And there you go. We have 20 results. Yep, 20 records. Or, and these are the triples. And you notice it's given us A, B, and C. The variable names that we actually use here for subject, predicate, and object. Uh, you can change that to 200 if you want. And it just bring more results. But that's that's the, the the way it works. And notice here that we don't have actually a from those of us who are familiar with the uh, with the select statement or with SQL in general or, or SQL usually we say select star from yeah and then where we don't have a from because the, we know where this is going to be run yeah this is going to be run against dbpedia's triple set and likewise here for our Foseki we didn't say where uh, from because we know that we are running this against the triple set that we our data set that we actually uploaded before likewise here we didn't say from, we just specified where the data is using minus minus data, although we can actually uh, say where or use the keyword from to tell it where to find the data, and we will probably explain that in our upcoming videos. Another thing to notice quickly uh, that notice for Sparkle, 
we normally it's a good practice normally to uh, use capital case for uh, keywords for keywords so select is a keyword where is a keyword from is a keyword uh, and as we learn later there are more uh, keywords so it's a good common practice to actually use a capital case for such words as you can see here and here select where and then limit again as a keyword reserved word in sparkle so this is why we use uh, a capital case thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time